a f***ing smiling communist f***ing bastard. I hate his guts. Bitch, you're not a boss. Bitch, you're f***ing 50 pounds overweight. You've got three kids. You're <laughs> ugly. Like, let's just be real here. So you're really opinionated and obviously you're super open about your opinion. Have you ever like said these things at the wrong time, wrong place? Like, I don't know. I'd be scared to like get beat up if I were you. Nothing yeah. I do is wrong. I'm always right. Everything I say is true. I don't care. If you're offended, get the out of my damn face. I don't care. The more you cancel me, the bigger my brand gets, the bigger I get, the more money I make. So keep talking about me, idiot. Let's get into it. There's so much going on in my life, and personally, I'm looking for any break I can get. That's why I enjoy Factor Meals. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. These meals are so tasty. They are chef-prepared, dietitian-approved, and delivered straight to your door. With over 34 meals to choose from that are ready in just two minutes, you'll have that extra time to do what you love. Between posting my videos and filming my podcast, it's hard to find the time to take care of myself. So let Factor do the work. Head to factormeals.com slash Sloan50 and use code Sloan50 to get 50% off. That's code Sloan50 at factormeals.com slash Sloan50 to get 50% off. Welcome back to the Let's Get Into It podcast hosted by me, Sloan. And today we are joined by Alex Pierce, also known as HRH Collection. How are you? Good, thank you for having me. Don't look at my notes now. I know, like, I just girl, I was like, trying to, I don't think about her. Girl, I know, I <laughs> want to hear your um, thoughts. But before we get into anything, if you guys haven't watched HRH Collection before, she's known for her jewelry line and her rants about life. And she has some pretty intense opinions. But before we go any further in our conversation, I want to make sure I've got your pronouns right. Because on Shut social up. media, it says Zezer. We, we do not do that here. What is going on with the Zezer situation? I don't do pronouns. Sorry, I really don't. But which, is it Twitter? Is it Instagram? Which one says this? I am Zezer. I'm whatever you want me to be. I think <laughs> right now I'm a fat pig. That's what I am. I'm really actually overweight. Um, no, I hate pronouns. I think they're stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like them. Like, I don't when like did them. pronouns even become like a thing? Well, I love that like Jeffrey is talking about that now, but I swear to God that he like got it from me and because I've been talking about like the dumb they them pieces of shit for a long time. Um, I don't, people, he's right about that. The way like during COVID and people are all bored and stuff, mm -hmm. they all of a sudden like came up with this pronoun bullshit. Yeah, like just, it's just something new because people are bored. Like, yeah. Just shut the fuck up and do you and just live your life and leave everyone the fuck alone. Yeah. No, I see that. Yeah, I hate it. So when it comes to your content online, you're very opinionative um, and it, you know, sometimes people become outraged by it. Some people embrace it because they're like, you know what? Alex says it how it is. Yeah. So before we get into your personal life and everything. I kind of want to go through um, some topics and some influencers, some people and get your reactions to them because I feel like a lot of these people embody, um, I guess, messages that you may either agree with or disagree with. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some pictures of people and I just kind of want to get oh, your reaction okay. if you know who they are. So right here, we've got Nick Accato Avocado. Do you know who Nick is? Uh, no, he's just ugly. And You've fat. never seen him on YouTube? I've heard of this avocado, but I now I like I don't have time to do that, like to like know anything about YouTube. I just like talk shit and that's it. I don't know. It's so ugly and fat. he like gets a lot of backlash because he eats an enormous amount of food on um his YouTube channel, and some people think he should be like banned for it for like overeating for just like yeah, I guess like overeating, but like I guess putting that type of content out there. But I thought it was okay to be fat. Now I thought right. everyone was like, oh, you should like be four million pounds and you can still be anorexic. Yeah, well, I guess so. people. People don't approve of Nick. Oh, he should be able to do whatever the fuck he wants, honestly. I agree, Live right? your life. Because yeah. you don't like censorship either, right? I hate it. No, Ugh, absolutely the fuck not. Well, Which it's I'm like censored all the fucking time. Same. I mean, also though, how are you censored? Like who's like, not your YouTube channel, right? Just your oh, Instagram? Instagram. They, like, they constantly shut me down. Like what? there is a fat fuck at Instagram. Literally <laughs> she's 600 pounds because whenever I talk about 600 pound life, I get shut down. Yeah. So there must be someone who works from home for Instagram who shuts down my account every damn time. Who just hates you. Who hates me. Yeah, that. So Instagram gets shut down all the time. And I just feel like, well, now you're talking about the ads mm, on YouTube, which yeah. I love. I'm like, wait, why am I not making money? I was like trying to teach her how to make money on YouTube. Because, so many <laughs> because I make nothing. Don't know. Okay, yeah. so I don't, yeah, you're, you should like, you I should wanna, do a course. You know how many people would watch that? My agent wants me to do like a, like a consulting type thing. With I like literally, other YouTubers you need to. And, 
Yeah, I would love I to. I was looking for something like that because I don't get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it is like a different type of business. And like, unless you're in it doing it, you can't really it like figure so it much, out. You seem to know what you're doing. So you should do that. Yeah, I should. Yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about um, someone we've actually had on the podcast, Eugenia Cooney. Do you know who Eugenia is? I have no idea who this is. You have no, no idea. idea who Eugenia Cooney is? No, I don't. I'm like, 38 years old. She's I don't know th- who like this 30. is. like 30. Not far off. She just looks scary. Well, I don't so know. So Shane Dawson did like a documentary on her. and she, she anorexic? I mean, that's kind of like... I guess someone's opinion. She would mm. say no, mm. um, but a lot of I'd people. I'd rather look like that than like that. Than like Nick Cotto yeah. Avocado. Yeah. So when it comes to Eugenia Cooney, she also gets a lot of backlash because of the content she creates because some people think she's like too thin. Oh. Do you think there's a problem with that? Because like you love to embrace skinny. I do. Um, I would love to look like that so I could gain 10 pounds and then like not worry about it. <laughs> so <laughs> you would like to and then you see so I want to be too skinny so that I can work up to being normal. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, what I would love. I feel really bad for you, Jeannie, though, because she gets like so much hate online. Why doesn't everyone just leave everyone the fuck alone? That's what I want to know. Like let her do her. Oh, I posted a video or a picture with her because I recently went to like a party with her, which is like very unheard of because she like doesn't leave her house in Massachusetts. Oh. And I posted love it. the picture and I've got like over a thousand comments on Instagram. Everyone was so mad at me. That you even hung out with her. Because they said I was like enabling her. And I'm like, that she you're needs even giving a f- her a spotlight. Yeah, kind of she thing. needs yeah. a fucking friend. She's been like one of her like influencer friends back in the day, like 5150 would her like because she's insane. They think she's insane. Well, they told her they're going to like an escape room. Like, I want to pick you up. We're going to an escape room and everything. And then they went and they 5150 would her. Oh, wow. So it's like she can't trust anyone out here. Oh, so I'm like sure. trying to That's like nice of you. I know, right? Yeah, you have a good heart. I wouldn't do that. Well, I've also just like I've watched her for years and people have this like sick obsession with her and yeah. her body. So I don't know her. I so, just think she looks anorexic. Yeah. I'm jealous jealous uh, so dr oh, phil yeah. you're recently on dr phil's I show was. and yes, you were, I was bitch you were saying that he's like senile what's going oh on oh my there? god why do we have to talk shit on dr <laughs> phil he's like our dad oh, no he's not i have some of my best exposing videos are dr phil oh okay he like sets up children to go to these like those like you know torture camps that like paris hilton went to and he like i don't really kidnaps does he? him at like 3 a.m well but he doesn't do anything out of control well it sounds like he doesn't do anything right he just reads off a teleprompter the entire time i was okay to be honest like i i grew up with dr phil in the house like on tv so i always had a soft spot for my heart my heart and doctor for dr mm-hmm. phil because he's like your grandpa or your dad or something uh-huh. he's like he i think they just edit the videos really 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 well the tv shows because He's not there. Like when you're talking to him, you can see in his eyes. He's like Joe Did Biden. Did you talk to him backstage? No, they don't even let you meet him. No, so it's just on stage. It's on stage, you get there, and then he's reading from a teleprompter the whole time, and you can see in his eyes that he's just like old. It's at this point, it's like elder abuse. Like yeah. to be honest, it's too much. Like, yeah. and, but he just had his show canceled, and now I understand why. Like he's done. Yeah. Even though, like, he had a great a great run. Like I have, I don't know much about him. I just, mm-hmm. you know, I feel like he's like a household name. Yeah, he's just like done some really sketchy things, like where he like. We'll get people on his show, get them like fucked up on Zans and alcohol, and then send them to a rehab that his son has business ties to. Shut so up, son, really? Oh yeah, there's a lot out there's there. A, I've never heard of that. Oh, so you like love the tea and like the, mm. the deep, like deep dives into stuff. So you know about things. I don't know about that. Yeah, and some people like, I mean, they say tea, but I'm like, the tea stands for trauma because like yeah. half the stuff is so fucked up in Hollywood right. and stuff. Oh, I'm sure. How did you even like get onto the show though? They were doing a um, a segment or a show on censorship. Mm-hmm. And I guess one of their producers or whatever, like, saw my rants about how I'm constantly being canceled and people are always trying to cancel me. I just don't give two fucks. Like, the more you cancel me, the bigger my brand gets, the bigger I get, the more money I make. So keep fucking talking about me, idiots. I don't give a shit. I'm never going to shut up. Yeah. And, like, he also agreed that, like, you know, censorship is just beginning to be too much now with this, like, weak new age like gen z culture who can't take anything like you can add you cannot have a different opinion than someone else like mm-hmm. than, the, than, the, than gen z like you have to have the same opinion as them or you're like racist or a homophobe or something like that and i'm fucking sick of it like yeah leave me the fuck alone did you like enjoy how the, the segment came out like do you think it did well i okay you i guys, mean there's that viral picture of you where I you're fainted. like i fainted on stage really just I, by overwhelmed um because i had two they didn't have any coffee i needed coffee so mm. they gave me like red bull i had i downed two sugar-free <laughs> yeah. red bulls and i fainted i wish they would have put that segment in like of me fainting on stage i mean that would have been great yeah right? they didn't i wanted them to i told them to because it was fucking like epic. send me the footage yeah like. exactly i really do it i wish you could get <laughs> yeah, it I'm, fucking post it yeah um yeah no it was fine it was just i wish i kind of wish they would have like introduced you to dr phil they kind of just throw you out there yeah it's kind of a mess really like i wish they would kind of make like oh here's dr phil meet him it was weird were I, the staff fine yeah everyone was really nice to be honest nice. Like, did was, you get paid for it nothing nothing and they were to be honest 
they didn't, they would not, they were so cheap to be honest. Like I'm actually pissed at them. They owe me like $60, big fucking deal. <laughs> they're like, oh, we'll pay for your gas and this and that. And I'm like, okay, well, here's my receipt. And they're like, no, no, we need your miles and we need to W9 you for fucking $60. $60. So I was like, forget it. I'm not going to waste my time. But yeah. like your Dr. Phil show, you're going to fucking haggle me, hassle me over 60 bucks. Yeah. Can you believe that? No. I mean, well, I don't, that is, Dr. Like, Phil does seem cheap. That but. is the part that pisses me off. Do not fucking tell me. And then, W9 me for 60 yeah, bucks. Like right. you're so cheap. No. It's stupid. Well, someone I'm thinking of that's kind of similar to Dr. Phil is like Ellen DeGeneres. Like, what do you think of Ellen? Any thoughts? No thoughts, but I don't really know. I don't watch that shit. Like, right. I don't know. I don't watch it either. Yeah. she. I heard that she's a total bitch or whatever, but like, mm -hmm. I don't know much about her. She's yeah. like, of course she's a bitch. She's fucking loaded and she doesn't give a fuck about anything. Yeah. Like, well, she doesn't even make eye contact with people. Yeah. Right? She like, like hates everyone. She's just like her. She like can't allow her like, um, co-workers to eat meat and stuff have you heard that no way yeah like they had like a barbecue one time and she like made them like throw like cancel it because like they're vegan? cooking meat yeah super vegan oh shut up are you a vegan no no okay oh yeah Absolutely you eat the, the fucking fuck like not. fish fillet oh, I love mcdonald's fish fillets. i've the never best. i'm not like a hater of mcdonald's like i'll eat a hamburger from there but like a fish fillet have you never had a fish fillet no. then shut the fuck up seriously it is the best <laughs> thing you've ever had in your life i'm not kidding you then, you need to try it. Then how do you feel about the like the McRib? You're all about that. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. No. That's so horrible. <laughs> it sounds that disturbing. Disgusting. I would never. Yeah. No, no, no. I won't go there. Well, we are in downtown LA. So how do you feel about homeless? Oh, fuck the homeless. Fuck the homeless. Fuck what the do you homeless. want us to do with the homeless? Um, The only way to clean up LA is to take them and forcibly put them into mental, mental inst institutions. They are so far gone, drugged out. And, and enabled, the only way to clean up the city is to forcibly put them into an insane asylum. If you care about them, if anyone out there, these liberal fucks care about them, they would forcibly put them in because that's for their health. That's for their own well-being. Not to die on the street with gangrene and dying and drugs and this and that. They need to be forcibly put into institutions, period. You're giving me like squid games. You just like want to get rid of them. I would love to. <laughs> oh no, my God. How do you feel I mean, like, I don't do people like, just think yeah. you're evil when you say those things though? Cause some people are like, you know, you don't know what they've gone through in the trauma. Not really, you know what it is? It's always a little shits in like Iowa who don't have never seen what this is. <laughs> These are not the poor little homeless person on the side of the road who needs help. I'm not yeah. talking about that. These are entitled, violent drug addicts who know how to work the system. They do not want help. They just want to live on the street and like defecate on the street take shits on the street, throw feces like fucking monkeys and get free money for drugs. That's what they want to do. Yeah. And that's not how you live in a civil society. This is a civil ass society. Okay. And downtown has become the opposite of that. It's disgusting. Well, people are now like building like houses on yeah. the side of the road. Oh, we know. It's like they're encampments with like, you know, they like, and they take like power lines and get mm -hmm. free. Like they have TV playing and stuff. It's insane. They've actually like out witted the system it's crazy what they've done what also seems like there's people i've heard too like i don't know the truth of this but like people say like if you're not even a citizen of the united states like you have more rights than citizens do when you're in california like oh california like, like really protects these people you okay who like are we talking about illegals now well sure yeah illegals oh, yeah, i don't yeah, know yeah. if you say it that way but. what illegal alien that's what's fucking called um no i mean if i was them i'd be doing the same thing if i was in a, in a country that like was not giving me the opportunities and I could easily just cross the border and get and, and have those opportunities, I would do that. So I don't mm -hmm. blame them. I blame our shitty government for not like closing the fucking border. Yeah. I mean, let's get some, like there's there's a lot of shit going on there that needs to happen. Do you think the wall will like cure that? Like, no, I no. mean, whatever. It's just like, that's, that's just like, like a physical, it's like, physical thing. We need, like need to policy. have people at the border with guns. Okay. And like people not let you can't, can I just go live in France? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, you can't. They tell me to fucking leave. Like they have a government set in place. Like where the fuck is our government? Yeah. Where are the rules? Where are the rules? Yeah. Speaking of, um, what do you think of our commander in chief, Joe Biden? Oh, he's a fucking smiling communist fucking bastard i hate his guts so do you like hate joe biden specifically or just like the entire democratic party um he's a piece of shit he's a corrupt fuck and um he's ruining the country um and everything going on in ukraine is only having to do with because he's got all that money there okay so keep sending money because all going back to him mm -hmm. um but no joe biden he's just so he's a career politician you can't vote for someone who's been in in politics for their entire life. Obviously, they're corrupt. You have to you have to like someone new, like someone who's not entrenched in politics. Yeah, you need someone like who actually cares about people. He doesn't. He just cares about money and like the Democrat Party. 
Do you think there's like a whole like world order and he's like part of that type of thing? Like probably. Probably, yeah. You haven't yeah. thought that deep about it though. Like Illuminati I mean, and stuff. Like probably. Yeah. I mean, it's all probably a little bit of it is all probably true. Yeah, right. Yeah. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Totally. So do you you obviously don't think he'll win in like twenty twenty four do you? No, this is the thing. I don't want to hear about anyone um even remotely putting like their message out there because they're gonna cheat again and he will win. So it doesn't matter if we if we like campaign or anything, because we have you cannot beat a cheater. So the Democrats, mm. uh, who are not even Democrats anymore, they're far leftist fucking freaks, are going to cheat and win again. So I don't want any Republicans crying about it. Oh my God, I'm so pissed that fucking Joe Biden went. Of course he did. He fucking cheated. So until we cheat back, then I don't want to hear any fucking back. complaining. So do you think we they need did to it cheat. with like the voting system? Like that's how they do it? Like... Um, I, yeah, I guess the, I, I really don't even give a fuck. I don't care. I just yeah. vote. And like, yeah, I think it's having to do with that and like all the illegals flowing in and like the dead voting. I mean, they're smart and they're crafty and they're cheating. Good for yeah. them. They should, we should too. Like, or would, shut up. Speaking of like immigration and you know, the president. So would you ever move out of the country? Um, I like, I have my family here and I have my business here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm but you like, you love America. Yeah. But I love him. I mean, I did. It just sucks now. Yeah. Well, I mean, it just sucks. Like, it just fucking sucks. But I'm not going to, like, learn a new, a new language. Don't you speak Chinese? I lived in China for two years. Yeah, but I don't. I forgot a lot of it. Yeah. I speak Greek because I'm Greek. But Yeah. How was it living in China? That was, like, um, 10 years ago. So it was you a think lot. It was, like, way different? Way different. Really? I think now probably I would probably be scared to go back, honestly. Mm-hmm. You were in but Shanghai for school? Shanghai, yeah. What were you yeah. studying? International business. So, like, are your jewelry items made in china is that like yeah. why you're is there like a connection here where you yeah, like went to no. china to like i went to china for um international business and poly and political like poli sci um then i came back and had nothing i had never taken a design class in my whole life we make everything here in downtown so no like no no relevance with my degree like yeah. it's a worthless fucking degree which i always talk about you shouldn't go to college where'd you it's go retarded. to college was it an american college it was like yeah it was just like a small christian university oh, and then they just had like a satellite campus or yeah something like we went for like master's degree and like we interned and things there to learn about like business yeah. i feel like college is like such a scam it's such a it's like when it was my like time whatever for college it, you didn't know about you like it had to scam. go you had so, to go yeah. now you don't go mm-hmm. like there's no point to go you're going to get so far in debt unless you're going for stem which is like math yeah. lawyer things like that you have an actual degree you have no business going to college there's no point like you were going to just get yourself into debt yeah like these communication majors and everything so pointless i mean i even i did like psychology and statistics and i don't use like really any of it none of it me too like i mean i use nothing yeah and really like a lot of these college like post college jobs you don't even really make a lot of money anymore i know i tweeted this morning like you spent one hundred sixty thousand dollars in a degree for a fifty thousand dollar a year job yeah like how scary is that truly um but you like chinese culture right i do i mean I, i live there and um it was just such a unique experience, yeah. you know, like the, like the communist, it, communism ingrained in their heads and like, they, you know, like a very like secular society. It's just different people. Like they, it's a different, I love, I love cultures and I love different kinds of people and different countries. Mm-hmm. So living there amongst like people who'd never really saw a lot of white people. Yeah. It's just, it was a really cool experience and I love the people I met there and the time I lived, had lived there. But do you think being like in a communist environment, like you made you even more like conservative or like. Um, you know. Well, actually, what made me more conservative is just like recently, like with, coming like, out with whole, like COVID and yeah. and BLM and all that and all this bullshit and like the pronouns is too much and like and the you know immigration and just it's just like it's common sense shit. Like I call it clown world. Yeah. Like I'm not living in a clown world. I'm not. I have conservative thoughts, but I don't like. I don't even consider myself a Republican because I I guess I am, but I don't like. I don't like those people, they don't like those judgmental fucks either. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So everyone has a label, but of yeah. course I will always vote. For, I'm not going to vote for the clown world. I'm going to vote for a civil society rules, laws, and like a safe place to live, which is conservative ideals. Yeah. When you, um, when black lives matter happened, did you post the black square on your page? I fucking did. You know, you I, did? I fucking did. <gasps> I didn't even do it. Well, I didn't do it because I just wasn't posting. I did all, it, but, but I also started talking the next day and they said, you're supposed to shut up for seven days. So uh, I didn't. Yeah. I was like, fuck this. Okay. I'll put the black fucking square up, <laughs> which by the way, he was on fucking drugs. Okay. I'm so sick of people not fucking be telling, telling the truth. Like, oh, yeah, cause it all started oh, from like, like, like the, ho- the holy fucking George Floyd. Like that's the poster child of the black person's George Floyd. And of everyone in the world, that's who you want to be a poster child, a criminal, a drug addict, a criminal, really bitch. Shut the fuck up. There's, thousand more black people we could choose as your fucking holy whatever yeah. person like, like who's that samuel guy that you like that passed oh my god that- kevin samuels you guys 
I'm sorry, black people out there, you lost someone that was trying to actually help you. Black women out there, women in general, he, if you would have listened to him, you stupid fucks, okay? He is someone that was actually trying to help your ass. Was he controversial or? Totally, because he said that, you know, black women, especially out there, they think they're like such the shit. They're like, I'm a boss bitch. I can do it myself. Bitch, you're not a boss bitch. You're fucking 50 pounds overweight. You've got three kids. You're <laughs> ugly, okay? And then you're trying to say that that man who's like, has a nine to five, doesn't earn enough for you. You see what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Like, let's just be real here. Do you ever get like, real. so you're really opinionated and obviously you're super open about your opinion. Have you ever like said these things at the wrong time, wrong place? Like, I don't know. I'd be scared to like get beat up if I were you. Oh, <laughs> well, no, I don't want to talk about like the logistics of that, but I'm not scared. No, no. Okay. I see that. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not scared for, for many reasons. I'm not scared. So this person, I just recently started popping up all over social media, Dylan Mulvaney. Oh yeah. So. Thoughts on Dylan? I feel like I, yesterday I was like putting together these questions and I saw mm -hmm. you just tweeted about Dylan. Yeah, I did. So what it, what about Dylan? Because it seems like when I'm looking online and looking for like feuds of you with yeah. other people, the only, like the first article I saw was you and Dylan. So what's- Yeah, well, I, I mean, this is the thing. Like, I just, I'm not going to live in a clown world. Like he can cut off his dick. He's still a guy. Like, I don't give a shit. You can, like, I don't give a fuck. Like you can say your pronouns, this and that. For me, if you look like a girl, you're a girl. Like, I'm not going to stress myself out over mm -hmm. what you are. Well, do you think she looks like a girl then, yeah? She just got her face done too. This looks like a girl, but she doesn't look like this. But it's fine. I, well, she just got it I'm done. I'm not gonna be disrespectful. Though. No, I get I'm that. I'm really not. Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, you're a man so, or whatever. I'm not, but that's the, let's not. Do you feel not, like she's like pushing like a, some type of agenda or narrative and you're just trying I to I don't like, like that I'm the girlhood thing. You're never gonna mm. be a fucking girl. Take the tampons out of your asshole, okay? Uh -huh. I'm sick of it. Like, it's dumb. You know, it's dumb. You are a trans person. That's mm -hmm. it, okay? Which is fine, do you, but I don't like it being shoved down my throat. And I don't like this playfulness they do that I'm a woman. You're never gonna be a fucking woman, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't have periods, you can't have a kid. I, it's weird, like you're a guy, okay? You look like a girl, that's fine, but you're not. Like, let's fucking stop with the clown world shit. Like, I don't care, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Live your life, do you, but let's speak facts. Do you think it's important though that like some people have like a Dylan out there so that they can like kind of learn themselves through that you or do you think I that just they don't are like is that why all of a sudden is there why all of a sudden was so I, I I tweeted something that was really good I was like you can still be a feminine gay and not be trans did you know that like mm -hmm. feminine gays out there you can still be a feminine gay and not be trans yeah why all of a sudden now since covid and since people were bored at home is everyone coming out as trans yeah like it's too much okay you are in they are getting like brainwashed by social media and they're gonna make a huge mistake if they start getting these kind of surgeries and things like that when they're not 100 percent sure because social media is influencing them like you could I, let's just this it's this whole phenomenon recently that mm -hmm. like there's so many trans people now like it doesn't make sense to me so like realistically you would be fine as long as like you you just want dylan care. to recognize they're like a gay boy I don't even care what he does. Yeah, you just. I don't give a shit. But like, I'm not. If you're gonna say I'm like a woman, no, you're not a woman. But yeah. I don't. I'm not gonna go to his page. See, I'm not the kind of bully. People are like you're a bully. I am not a bully. I would never go on someone's page and say yeah. anything. They come to me and do that. I don't. But like, I'm just saying in general, don't be like I'm a woman. You're not a fucking woman. But like, yeah, if you look like a girl, you're a girl. I'm not gonna say anything else. I don't care. Yeah. I just like you for you. Has she ever responded to you? No, 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 no. No. No way. She's. Yeah. She's. He's say it. whatever. Say it. He's too big. Well, I know she. She. But then I think Dylan. I think boy. See what I don't like. I don't give a fuck about anyone. I'm not gonna be stressed about it. I don't care if you're offended. Get the fuck out of my damn face. I don't care. Whatever, Dylan. Who cares? I don't care. So when, so oh, yeah. do you boy, girl? I know it's a boy, but she looks like a girl. So I'm not gonna <laughs> stress myself about it. So you're. What do you think of Gigi Gorgeous? I went on her podcast. How was it? It was fine. She was great. I went to her birthday party too. Oh, cute. Now, now she'll probably never like No, I mean, ten, I've watched Gigi for a long time. That's yeah. why it was, it was interesting because like a lot online people would think that you like hate Dylan, but then like you're chill of Gigi. See how Gigi doesn't, doesn't push bullshit? Gigi mm. lives her life. Gigi is hot. She lives her life. She's made her, she's made her life. This Dylan is obnoxious little shit, a little yeah. they, them fuck. I don't like it. So you feel like it's annoying. He's Dylan's annoying. kind of like exploiting what it means to be a woman. He's just, he's just obnoxious. Yeah. Like yeah. just shut up. Just go be hot like Gigi. <laughs> yeah. Like that's it. Live your life. You went on to her podcast. Did you guys talk any about like your opinions on trans? No, I don't or? think so. I think we did more just like crazy shit. I don't know, like me being like crazy, like opinions and stuff. But I don't yeah. think we talked about trans stuff. Yeah. Because I hadn't done that. Like, I don't think I, 
coined the they them piece of shit though that's what people mm. know me for i call it like they them pieces of shit or whatever yeah. i don't think that happened yet she might not have had me on <laughs> she's yeah. seen that oh really yeah like when we walked in um to her house she introduced oh is that her house yeah it was like so nice because like that really nice. nats Beautiful. has that real money right oh, like he's that. The getty. she's the getty he he it see no that's what made confuse me too we walked in the house and she's like this is my husband yeah and i, I got confused because she's a girl yeah and she looks like a girl so it confused me i don't want to be confused yeah i don't care i don't not you i like i'm not doing clown world stuff mm -hmm. i'm just not yeah so i was like okay like, of course in your, i'm in your house i'm never gonna disrespect you ever yeah. like whatever you invited me here and i've always been a fan of Gigi. yeah but like the thing with the husband was weird like come the fuck on like this is a fucking uh, joke you yeah. guys like what are we gonna like everyone just like like jeffrey's saying it like when are we gonna wake up this is dumb uh-huh so you like Jeffree Star though, like, right? You I do. I know it. And I, I, have you followed him for a while? I've always followed him. And I've always thought because he had like guns and things like that, that yeah. he was like conservative, conservative ish or had conservative thoughts. Mm -hmm. And then I saw, I think he was like on this podcast with men and they're like, yeah, so do you have pronouns yeah. or something? And he's like, dude, you think I like, and like, like a talk like a guy. And I was like, <laughs> I love him. I love him because he's a, he's a unique individual that owns it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. He's a guy. He's a, but he's, you know, a trans, whatever, a trans guy, but not really. He's a man. He's he, him, like whatever. Yeah. I just respect that. Yeah. Like not trying to not trying. combulate it and like confuse it. They're never gonna be a girl. Stop. Like just stop. I mean, just weird. Just say like, yeah, you're, you're trans or whatever. Just live your life, but don't go doing the Dylan thing of girlhood shit. Like shut the fuck up. So to move on from like trans topics, but sure. would you define? Would you say you're transphobic? Like not in no. a mean way, but yeah, like yeah. just in general no, by I just definition. Don't like, the thing is that I don't like to. Um, the clown world thing is getting out of control and it needs to stop somewhere. So we need to bring back like common sense somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I think people need to wake up from this, like del this weird, like delusion. Like, yeah, they're trans people. There's trans is a real thing. Like I know, but now let's just think about it. Why all of a sudden are there so many trans people? It's because of social media. It's too much. Like you can still be gay and not be trans. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you have any um, family members in LGBTQ? Like I, I, I have a very small family. I don't. Yeah. Yes. I don't. Summer is coming to an end and we're preparing for school, fall time, and the holidays. There's so much going on and personally, I'm looking for any break I can get. That's why I enjoy Factor Meals. Factor is America's number one ready to eat meal kit. These meals are so tasty. They are chef prepared, dietitian approved, and delivered straight to your door. I've been a fan of Factor because there are so many options to choose from. They have over 34 meals to choose from that are ready in just two Two minutes. Between posting my videos and filming my podcast, it's hard to find time. So relying on Factor for my calorie smart or keto approved meals gives me the time to produce the content that you love. And when I'm working on bulking up at the gym, they offer protein plus meals and many more options. Head to factor.com slash Sloan50 and use code Sloan50 to get 50% off. That's code Sloan50 at factormeals.com slash Sloan50. 50 to get 50 percent off well um this one's kind of random i just wanted to hear what you think about beyonce because i feel like beyonce is such a, like you either like her or you don't like her any thoughts she's on her she's an icon i don't really have any opinion about her she's gorgeous you don't think she's like evil or anything? i don't know anything about my is she i don't, I don't know. know she just seems like she is to me i feel like you you give like i mean i don't know if this fits oh, like QAnon like, kind of vibes and like QAnon yeah. like hates her because like they no. think she's like Illuminati with like Jay Z oh, and everyone like, is though controlling people and no, everything. I don't know. Beyonce is just an icon. She'll always be an icon. Yeah, no, she's yeah. great. Did you watch the Rihanna um, Super Bowl? No, I don't like. I don't like that kind of shit. I hate Hollywood stuff, mm. and I don't like celebrities. Um, and I just I don't know. No. So you're like from here, right? Like, how did you end up in California? I grew up in um, Orange County. Okay. And then I like moved whatever when I started my business and stuff to LA I haven't been to Orange County yet but it's like it's not very different from LA right it's just like boring and cookie cutter yeah just like it's just like I moved there because I just couldn't I, I had a I was living in Brentwood I sold my house in Brentwood a few years ago mm. and moved because I could not stand the homeless anymore I yeah. just couldn't the homeless thing is you guys know I feel about homeless homeless are out of control like <laughs> well, they're ruining the they're, they're clown world so that I hate. do you think um like if Donald Trump were to win again that he would like Oh, yeah. Fix the homeless problem? or No, because we're in California, so you should mm. show me a picture of a Newsome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, Trump. I love Trump. We Obviously, like, you know, whatever is what it is. So, um, do you... Who doesn't? Like, were you, like... So, back when, like, 
because I grew up in like a Republican family. So like McCain, Mitt Romney, like were you all yeah. about them? Or I mean, like when Trump came along, you're like, hell yeah, like this is it. Like, you know, I just, you always like try to look at the issues and see what's important to you at that time. Back then, you know, of course, you know, I wasn't that crazy into it back then. Mm-hmm. You know, I just was like, whatever, probably just not really into that. Yeah. But when Trump came along, um, you know, yeah, like with the Hillary thing, that was a fuck. Do you no. like reality TV? Yeah, I do. So I, I love reality TV. I started listening to a lot of podcasts and like, uh, like political podcasts when Trump came around because it literally felt like reality TV. Like he turned it into like entertainment in some way, which I know is like right. maybe sick because sometimes it's talking about like our livelihood, but like the way he would speak to people, very like you know, for, uh, forceful, no, that's what very I like blunt. About Trump is that he is like a real person. He's not in politics, so he's not out for anyone other than the country. He doesn't have a stake in it, really. He mm-hmm. just made his own money, and then he was willing to literally let everything go to to better the country. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't have any stake in the game. Mm-hmm. I really don't think. Where Biden, for example, has been in politics his entire fucking life, mm-hmm. right? So Trump put everything on his line, his entire family, his money, everything, you know, and he's a citizen. I like that. I don't, so the next person, whoever it is, I don't want to vote for. I don't like politicians. I like, yeah. I like a person, like a business owner. What about Oprah? No, I don't like Oprah. No. Oprah, Oprah is just like, I mean, I, lo- I used to love, I love her magazines. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, she probably doesn't do any of that. You yeah, know? I know. Yeah, it's like the magazine. Else. No, I forget what about Oprah I didn't like. There was something I didn't like about her, but I don't remember what it was. There was so many, I made like a good exposing video about her, yeah. like the African schools and. Um, I just, I mean, I don't like, I don't like color. The color thing bothers me where all of a sudden like everything matters like what skin color you are. It's like, just suck my dick. I'm so fucking sick of that shit. Like no one gives a fuck what color you are. In the United States, you can be fucking yellow, purple, but no one cares yeah. if you're black. Just shut up. Like, and she plays the black card a lot. Like you're really going to play the black card over your billionaire. Like shut up. One yeah. of your most like viral rants was like about black owned businesses. And yeah. like, um, they hate that Instagram and everything. So do you think there's like, it's just, that's kind of unfair. I think it's stupid. I think why would, if I had like, if my business, if I was black and I had like a jewelry line, people, I would not want people to come and support me because I'm black. I yeah. would want them to come and support me because they like my designs. Mm-hmm. If you're having to say that I'm a woman owned business or I'm a black owned business, it's because your shit sucks. That's the truth. Like there's no other reason to try and say, oh, support my line because of my skin color. It obviously yeah. means that your item or your, whatever you're producing is not that good. So you need to use other reasons yeah. to justify to, to, a sale. Exactly, or to like gra- get people to come and look at it. Like I will never, if you do that, I won't support you because you're ob- that's obnoxious. Think I'm going to go to someone's restaurant because they're black? No, I'm going to go, go because the food's good. Do you get like, when you say those things online, do people just label you as racist? Yes, right like, away. Every Do you get like comments every day of people every calling day, you racist and Every stuff? day. So do you feel like day. numb to that? Like it doesn't so even- over it. The moment yeah. I get called racist, I know I win the argument. Yeah. Because there's no dialogue. What do you mean I'm racist? I'm not fucking racist. It's the dumbest shit ever. Like I don't yeah. care about what you look like. I don't care about your skin color. Do you like engage with a lot of like the rat, you call them rats, right? Yeah, the the rats. rats who are- No, they're such losers. They're like literally broke little losers. They're disgusting. And ugly too. So I feel like I read somewhere that your like dad had a political career. No, never. No? Never. You're not involved in politics at all? Never. No. What'd your parents do? Do you talk about your parents? Yeah, my dad's just like in sales and my mom like worked for a travel agency. Okay. Just super middle class. I don't know why I thought you were like, you came from like some political- Oh, for like, money? No, me never. No? no? So yeah. you grew up like middle class? Yeah. Just regular middle class. Just nothing. Oh, nothing that's sweet. Made. Yeah. Humble. I know, mm-hmm. humble beginnings. <laughs> and you grew up in Orange County, but I mean, yeah. Orange County is really nice. Yeah, so. it's really nice. It is. But yeah, just middle class. Are just your parents still together? They are still together. Oh, that's sweet. I know. Goals. Goals. Yeah, um, they actually have a very good relationship, so. What about your siblings? Do you have any siblings? I have a brother. Yeah, what's yeah. he doing? He's in the military. Okay. Yeah, nice. he's like a pilot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's has like a family and like. Are they in California too? No, they're in like Alabama. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like that's he's different. living the military life. Yeah. I don't know much about it, but. Where's your husband from? LA. He has like, I didn't look much into him, but mm. like I saw some of his tweets. Oh yeah. Do you I get like it. annoyed by that? No, you love it. Oh, I, that's why I married him. Uh-huh. Oh my God, that turns me on as fuck. How long I have we been it. together? He's the worst. I love it. <laughs> he's so nasty he's, yeah, he's on just, Twitter. Oh, he's nasty? That's how I am. I know. The same we're perfect, way. Perfect yeah, I love match. it. We're, perfect, we're a match made in hell. I love it. <laughs> how long have you been together? Um. Well, I guess... Like, like I would say three years. Three years. Okay. Total. So it's kind of like, like recent. Well, we're, yeah. But we're like, he's 40, I'm mm. 38. So we're just like, let's get the show on the road. Like we're just a total match. Do you ever want kids? 
I'm trying. Yeah, I'm do- going through IVF now. Oh, you are. Yeah. What so. do you have to do for that? Like inject shots every night, Ugh. like hormones and stuff. Like going into your butt. In my stomach. Does he help you, or do you just yeah. do it yourself? Yeah. Yeah, oh I make God. him do it so he knows that like. Yeah, what it's you're. It's not. I'm going through, bitch. Like yeah. I'm doing this. How long yeah. have you been doing it? I've been. I did one cycle, uh-huh. and I'm doing another one more cycle. Do you feel like a physical change? I'm just bloated more. Yeah. It bloats you and stuff, but like I have to do it because I'm not getting pregnant. I'm 38, so yeah. it's just harder to get pregnant at this age. So IVF is not like where they're gonna like inseminate you, right? It's just they will helps. eventually. Oh, they they're will. gonna take him and they're gonna make an embryo with like his sperm and then whatever. Yeah. Shoot, is that expensive? Yeah. Surrogates are like I've been like looking. I at surrogate, I like, know girl. I I want like I would love to do that. It's so expensive though, I right? Don't, it's not like, that. It's like yeah, I mean that too. Isn't like two hundred k? I meant like I'm this, sure. I meant what you should do is bring someone in from like the old country, right? You know what I mean? Like somehow and have them do it. Like I know a lot of people do that. Pick I don't have any connections to that. Yeah, like pick if up you a were, homeless person. If you were, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, they'd be like all drug infested. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a crack baby. Yeah. Well, wait. You probably won't have an opinion about Britney Spears, but like, I do, do you? Oh, I, if you don't see my video on Britney Spears, oh, no, I've not. I did. So a lot of my YouTube channel was like the start of it was I did a lot for free Britney because her old manager. Mm-hmm. Well, you and I have a disagreement. Sent me a, well, no, we might not. But <laughs> um, it was like back in April, 2019, he sent me like a hundred dollars in PayPal with this phone number. It was like, call me. And then for months he leaked information to me when they were calling it a conspiracy theory. Okay. And I was putting out stuff about it. Um, do you, why well, are you a fan of Britney Spears? Oh, well, like, do you like her um, music yeah, of course stuff? I do. Like, are growing like, up with Britney Spears, I'm like, we're the same age kind of thing. So she was my, like, you know, she was like mm-hmm. the superstar when I was in high school. So she was freed out of her conservatorship. Yep. What do you think about that? I think that all this whole mob group who made this happen, I feel like facilitated <laughs> it, is going to be the reason for her death. Now, by, like, popular demand or whatever, she's freed from her conservatorship, but yeah. that's not going to help her in the end. I was, like, definitely a big part of that, like, kind of rallying around yeah. it. And... I still question, like, what exactly happened there because, like, it doesn't seem like it got better after it. But at the same time, I know there's something wrong there just because I've gotten so many cease and desist letters from their team. Never actually sued me, but I've gotten, like, over 24 cease and... Oh, yeah. So many. I got one, like, a few weeks ago, too. Oh, my gosh. So they're constantly trying to, like, shut me up. But, um, I don't know. There's something sketchy with this, like, firm called TriStar Entertainment. I'm not entirely sure, but they're, like... Really? um, Some evilness going on over there. Oh, I bet. I mean, it's just about money and power, so... Yes. Use her for it for sure. I've been so excited to ask you about this. Your house. <laughs> I want to oh, talk yeah. about her. And it's Ming. Ming. Is Ming a Shizu? No, she's a Maltese. Maltese. Maltese she's a Korean cute. Maltese. I have a Shizu and I like love little yeah, like donks like too. this. They're my they're favorite. So, they're so good. Yeah. Your house is so pretty. Thank you. Now looking at the pictures of it for sale online. Yeah, it's sold. It's done. Oh, We're it done. is. Yeah. We, so we, it's. Do it's you get done. above asking or like around a little under? Um. Mm. Well, the house, I we broke, Um. what's it called? Like record in the neighborhood. Oh, like really? Big time, yeah. So oh. it was like I wasn't gonna miss the opportunity. So and was this your house or like you and your mine. husband? No, it was mine. Yeah, it was my house only, and we met. Um, but this is this is my house only. So, um, wait, question: How do you like afford like what? what? My jewelry line. So it does really well. Then. Yeah, I've had the jewelry line for over <coughs> about ten years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have like just cust- loyal. I've had loyal customers since like the same customers basically since ten years. So it's just, yeah. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. it's a really beautiful house. Why are you yeah. moving? It's huge. It's 4,000 square feet. And like mm-hmm. when I originally bought it, I moved up from LA from like this, my small bungalow. And I saw this like magnificent house. And I was like, you know, the movie Sunset Boulevard, mm-hmm. like the old, old 50, whatever, 40s movie of like the starlet in like this big house by herself. I was like, I'm going to like do Sunset Boulevard vibes and just live my life in this like majestic staircase house mm-hmm. with like the big- And you're like single at this point, single, right? right? Yeah. And I'm just going to like sit and listen to music and cry and like just like be in my misery that I love. Mm-hmm. And um, the house is just way too fucking big. It's yeah. just so big. And there's always something. With a big house, there's always something going on. And Maintenance. Stuff. And yeah. I don't get to enjoy any of it because it's just one person. I'm sitting in one room like, mm-hmm. and the ceilings are like, 12 foot ceilings and you know huge everything is big and i just want i'm i like smaller more cozy things i miss my house in brentwood i really yeah. do and so i just wanted to kind of just get away from what your I house thought I is really pretty but it's definitely not cozy like the vibe because it's just like white hard yeah like it's like beautiful, marble but like, you know. and that's what i wanted i wanted like palatial yeah i wanted that's what the vibe i thought i wanted but whatever it was fun to have it for a while and then move on mm-hmm. so where and, are you moving i'm not gonna say well, is it out of state? No. 
Oh, wait, so you're going to be in California. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm still saying. No, Girl, saying. I feel like you don't belong here. You need I to go to Florida I, or Texas. No, or I like, can't. The weather. I would move to Florida, but I can't because the weather. Texas. Yeah, rain. I can't. No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be moved out of my fucking um, state. Fuck you. No. I am not. You're not I'm going up to like San Francisco. I'm like, no, Girl. I know. I have my fucking business. Yeah. Like, I have business and family. Like, I'm not. I'm, and so your business will stay in like in LA. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. do you have an no, 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 no. We're moving. So we have. I've had my. I had my studio, my office in downtown for like 10 years. And we're moving out because of the homeless and every all the crime. Yeah. So we're moving to Orange County. Um, so you're staying in Orange County. We're staying around. Oh, okay. Like, like, I'm like, like girl, you just. Uh... Yeah, you know, no, no. I, I will admit Orange County. I'm yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. staying. You I, like that area? I don't. No. No, I hate it. Yeah. But it's a good area in Orange County that I feel like I can have a, like the vibe is there. Yeah. Me. Like you can My like vibe. have a kid and yeah. like raise a family. Uh huh. And it's not like I just I hate Newport. I hate it. I fucking hate Newport. And that's within Orange County, right? Newport is, yeah. Mm. Every time I hear that, I just think of the cigarettes. Like, yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from D.C., oh, Virginia, D.C., so I don't know. My, I just moved out here in July, and I'm still, like, getting to know, like. Oh, you're really new. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I just went to, like, Malibu my first time, like, a few weeks ago with Tyler. And then, oh. um, yeah, I don't know much about the West Coast. I oh, lived okay. in Florida for a new. bit. Yeah. But I love Florida. You do? Yeah, just do. feels like. What about the weather? You can handle the weather? Um, No, I really like it. I you like do. it warm. I like the humid. Like, I just love the ocean. Like, yeah. the beaches here are so disgusting. Gross. Like, yeah. foul. Disgusting. They stink. I can't stand the fucking beach here. Yeah. I, like, belong at the beach. So, I think I'll end up in Florida. But, like, yeah. for my career, you know, it's like... I'm here for a while here. and then go back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And grind. So, yep. um, let me ask you. So, you already talked a little bit about COVID-19. Mm. Have you had her? Oh, yeah. Of course I have. Everyone's You've had, had COVID? It. Yeah. Okay. So, you believe it's real? It's just a fucking flu, dude. It's a fucking flu that China sent over. Um, things just such bullshit you know it's a fucking flu one of the oldest like clips of you online is like you at judge judy oh, yeah i was on what? judgy what why <laughs> it's so judge judy works that was like, it real yeah so you I had like, like a ni- case with I was a like friend 18. right uh-huh. i was 18 so like yeah judge judy works that you file a small claims like with your court mm-hmm. and then judge judy will go in and look at cases the court system the court system mm-hmm. and she will her producers will say oh this one looks interesting we're gonna take this one so i didn't sign up for judge judy they contacted which was my parents at the time yeah. because it was like my car that it was they their, owned. Their yeah. owned. Uh-huh. yeah. So my friend's brother had like taken my car and like ruined the clutch. Yeah. And his, the dad, whatever. I'm just trying to get, yeah. And I won, of course I won the case, but why it's funny is cause I was a fat pig and, and the they loved that I was fat. And yeah. And I never, and, and we, everyone knows about my weight gain and weight loss. Like that's what I'm all about. I'm always fluctuating in weight, but I was like really fat back then. So they just, the trolls and the rat, the fucking broke ass rats love to like point out that I was fat. I was 18. I don't give a fuck what I look like. I think I'm trying to hide that I was fat when I was 18 on Judge Judy. Like now, like shut up. Who cares? Like, yeah. Like, I'm just sick of them, like, trying to be like, oh, I got you. What do you mean you yeah. got me? Same with the Dr. Phil clip picture, yeah. right? Where they're like, got you. Because I was got me. Why do you mean you got me? I was, yeah, I was on Dr. Phil when I was 18. So what? Like, dumb. Yeah. No, I, um, did you, are, were you, are you still friends with that person you were in court with? No. No, that was like a, That's was the so friendship kind of over it? Yeah, then? at that point it was over. Yeah, yeah, but because of that, like, court? Pretty much. Oh, really? Yeah. It caused, like, some tension and stuff? Yeah, it was just stupid, like, high school friend yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, now that you, like, have, like, a, in, like a you know, influencer pre- uh, presence out here, it's probably, like, weird for those people to see, like, other people still looking at that case, yeah, like, that still case. watching that video. I know, and posting it. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if, like, people have, like, ever tried to contact the person or something. I like, bet you they have. Weirdo, what would she really like? That. Yeah. Dumb. Right. So, so weird. So they're just so obsessed. Like, they're just such rats. They've got nothing to do. They sit in their fucking parents' house. They don't have a job, and they, they literally do my PR for free. So thank you. Yeah. Well, sometimes I am surprised at the levels, like, people will go to to, like, invade our privacy yeah. or try to do have you ever had any like freaky things happen like that like that's people why showing another up to reason your house why i'm or? leaving I, i'm selling that's have another, you like showed up to your house they, they show up and like oh there's two gates i have a gate guard and uh-huh. we have my own personal gate so you can't get in but like the amount of people i get like trying to get into the gate is so embarrassing well, what would they say though they're just like i'm here for Alex. Um, yeah like, like oh like oh uh, food delivery this is bullshit we never owed food, owed food delivery yeah. and like then they'll send me a dm like hot bitch try to get in something like that just Ew. stupid shit Really, really weird shit. So I'm not. No, I'm not. Have you had, like call the police before or anything? No, nothing like that. I'm I'm very protected. Let's put it that way. Right. So what about your like phone threat, number and stuff? Like have people like gotten that? Yeah, I just don't. I have like other. They think like I don't. I don't. They think that that's my phone number. So I don't even use that phone. So yeah. you know what I mean. I don't care. I have multiple phones. Yeah. Um. And then yeah. What about like done. doxing? Like have they tried to like dox your family no, and stuff like I, that? I, I'm just waiting for them to do that. Like it's they probably will eventually. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see with the kid or if I have a kid and something like that. No, you know what I mean? so messed up. Like, I know they call, like, Pete, what is it called? Like, like 
child CPS <gasps> on people. Yeah. Like they do yeah. that to, to YouTubers. Yeah. So I'm sure they'll probably try to do something shit like that. But California, it's hard to get cops out anywhere. So I don't yeah. think they'll even care. And it's like, do you think what motivates these people is like this sense that they like think you're some like racist, horrible person. So they're, they're trying to like jealous, get back dude. at they're you. They're jealous that I won't shut up. They want to say what they would love to like be able to freely speak. They're like, how can she say that and get away with it? And she still has money and she's, people are still watching her and her, 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 her site is still up. Like they just won't, they just like won't stop. I don't care. What's your like, okay, so I've never had like a cancellation mm. in my career online, which I think, you know, everyone's bound to have one at some point. What advice do you give okay, to someone yeah. just not to stop, just to like keep acting you like you need to like, double down? What about if you, I genuinely did something wrong. So then do you apologize? And then like, I will never do anything wrong. Yeah. So you're like, no, never. nothing yeah. I do is wrong. Yeah. I'm always right. Everything I do is everything I say is true. I'm never going to apologize. You've never done an apology so video before, not, right? Never. I'm not yeah. a, I'm not a mean person. Actually. I'm actually a nice person. And I'm just sorry that I speak the truth. If you're offended by that, get the fuck off, off of my page. Yeah. I don't care. Um, but no, if I if I actually, no, I would never say, because I'm not a mean person. I'm not a bully. You know so what do mean? you think so, like if I were to get, like, let's say I have some scandal or something, should yeah. I just like move along and keep making my videos and just act like it never happened? Down. You should just double the fuck down. Like, like stand up for myself. Get the fuck off. Yeah, loser. Or like yeah. that's what I would do. I'm like, what are you talking about? It doesn't matter. I don't care. Like I, I really don't care at all about cancellation. It actually helps you. Yeah. It just grows you. So you should want to get canceled. Well, I think what's refreshing about your brand is that you're kind of built off of this. Like you share like exactly how you feel, whether people care or not, mm -hmm. but not everyone has that kind of reputation. So it's like, for me, I feel like if I were to be in that position, people would be like, oh, like you're just an asshole. Well, then, then. yeah, it, like. You need to just have more of a not give a fuck attitude. They yeah. don't fuck with you as much. And if they, it, I'm Teflon, like I don't care. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people too, they see like this, like, you know, pretty girl, like feminine and stuff, but then mm -hmm. you've got like a mouth of like a sailor. Totally. So they turned like, yeah, it, like it, it's interesting to people to watch that. True. True. They don't expect someone from Orange County who's not ugly, you know, with like has money or whatever, self-made to talk like this and have opinions. Yeah. Any other person with like with a line or anything like that is non-opinion person, PC, like everything is great. Everything's fine. And they, you know what I mean? They do not expect this. Did you realness. think um, Judge Judy was genuine? Like compared to like Dr. Phil? I know yeah. it's like a long time ago. I but do. I like Judge Judy a lot. Yeah. Did yeah. you like her watching her like as a fan in general? I like, still watch her. I still watch I her old ones. Like I on love YouTube them. clips I and stuff. I love Judge Judy. I think she's fucking amazing. It's like really good like mindless TV. It really it is. And I just background. love how she just, just like doesn't give a fuck and like fucks yeah. everyone up. It's so funny. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. So um, I want to ask you about, do you know who this is? Of course I know who that is. Trisha Paytas, have you yeah. ever spoken to her? She's a kind of a bitch though, honestly. Like I know this will get, probably get around her. She tried to act like she didn't know who I was. She like posted this video the other like couple months ago and she's like, so HRH, I think I know who that is. Yeah. Something like that. Like, bitch, you know who I am. Like whatever. You yeah. know, I think it'd be, like, I've always been a huge fan of hers. Like, I would love I to have you both so in like real. a room and like a conversation. I don't know why she doesn't want to like, she's, I don't know why she hasn't, invited me to do something i can't invite yeah. her to do something i'm no one she's someone right i think she'll kind of get to that point she's like now starting to do things now she after should. having this like, baby I, and stuff i love her i think she's like a total og have you watched her for like years Forever. now everyone me too. has oh like i'm like i think that i love that she's like you know self-made white trash like yeah. i kind of like in like that vibe too but not really we're different but like she's so she's very unique i love it so um yeah so and she's kind of got like i mean not similar to you but like controversial in a similar way and i where love that she found this random this like this guy who loves her yeah like Moses. I, it's like my jason like it's the same thing like we both have these like random guys who we fit with us and even though we're kind of nuts yeah it works yeah and she's got this really unique like he like Jewish embraces guy. it yeah. yeah and it's just awesome yeah. yeah i'm really happy for her and i think motherhood and stuff is a good thing for her like yeah did you watch the frenemies and like those podcasts when no, that happened no no i know about it but i don't you know who like that. h3 is like, yeah he guy. like followed me for a while so i thought he was gonna ask me to come on his show he never did i don't yeah. know what that was about any yeah. thoughts on him He's like, he ended up being a fucking total leftist kook right like he, psycho what happened like he's like too much which I would love to go on like debate him or like just yeah. fuck him up. He can fuck me up. I'll fuck him <laughs> up. Like it's fine, you know. Like, but yeah. He's I feel like I can respect if someone has like if they're super liberal like mentality. Whatever. I agree. But he mm. seemed like I feel like he like and I actually like Ethan. He hooked me up with my lawyer. Like you know yeah. that's a huge thanks to him. But I feel like sometimes there's like this men like he's just being told what to believe. Oh, you really? know, does, it's like do you actually there's feel no that way? There's no way he thinks like that. Sometimes yeah. like do you actually? Think I agree. This like on the most extreme parts. You know, something some things he says. You know, makes yeah. sense. Obviously, but I sometimes I just wonder like if it, it almost just reminds me of like those fake news people who are just like you know it's just going They're into one year. Being told what to say. And, yeah, like and, you actually don't believe that's what he actually thinks. Cause it's so weird. Yeah. Like I see some of the things that he tweets or whatever. I'm like, ugh, wow. Yeah, and then sometimes he'll like say 
things that are just like really off kilter and I'd be like oh that's the real you mm. like I'm making like a shitty comment about like a woman or like someone's yeah. appearance like oh. something along oh those yeah lines. yeah I think I saw that like there's some um there's some truth to it so finally marriage oh yeah oh they when'd you get up. married yeah I know they um they love that they <laughs> stressed <laughs> they love to take my ugly picture so yeah so my fucking I had this like friend who my friend my drunk friend tells and she like did this insta story and like caught all these bad angles of me and like well, was it your wedding on live oh yeah they yeah, yeah. they paid for my wedding yeah. yeah everyone all the haters paid for my wedding um, oh, because you made because him like pay like twenty five dollars or something, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to so, well, I, yeah they pay for the wedding, so I always that kind of shit. Um, was the dress Zara? Was that so a thing the, the after dress? Yeah, it was Zara. I didn't care. Peyton, I don't. This was not a wedding that I. I was my second wedding, my second marriage. Yeah. I don't care. This was just going to be at our favorite restaurant, you yeah. know, in like wine country. I we went to the casino afterwards. My first dress after the ceremony was a short dress, but it was mm. not Zara. The second one was just because I didn't want to wear the wedding dress. Yeah, and people like ate it up. Like, oh my god, she's so broke and tacky and white trash. What like, do you think of like the short? So you just like wanted to do short dresses because like a- I. The only good thing about me is my legs. Yeah, the only good thing. Like I have. Oh, everyone, they call me a linebacker. I don't care. I have like <laughs> big shoulders. I have a small chest, but I have great legs. So why the fuck would I cover up my damn legs? You know what I mean? Like that's the only thing I have going for me that and like my face is good sometimes. Face card, yeah. So yeah, so why the fuck would I cover my damn legs? Not, that's, I cut, I had, it was a long dress. I had it cut uh-huh. because of that. Like these, I'm not going to fucking defend myself. These was little- the reception... In the parking lot? It was. It was. Oh, so did you just rent out the entire restaurant for the- No, they wouldn't. You, okay, it's the fucking hitching post, which everyone probably knows. And there's you don't have weddings there. Mm-hmm. It's a fucking steakhouse that we love. Yeah. So we're like, we don't care where we're going. We're just here with our family and friends. Yeah. I didn't give two fucks. There were like 20 people there. We wanted to go to our favorite restaurant. Like I could afford to have it at the Beverly Hills times 12, you idiots. I yeah. didn't want to do that. Okay, Beverly Hills Hotel. It's like I, a waste of money, it's right? It's so stupid. I hate people. Everyone well, how much did this cost you, like this wedding? Well, it cost me nothing. Like a few thousand, like ten thousand dollars. Ten, like, uh, uh, less than ten. Yeah, less than ten. Yeah, I made money on the wedding. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Did you kind of like when you went into that's like nice. <laughs> when you went into like the, the live streaming? Did you know people were going to eat it up because they just like I mean I like give a fuck. tear it apart? Yeah, I you love just it. didn't give a fuck. You're I don't like, give two fucks. Or were you like care. hurt when you like when everyone's no. like making fun of your wedding? You're like. Oh. That was my special never, day. Never, never. No. My special <laughs> day. What? We went to our favorite restaurant. Um, you paid for my wedding, and Did everyone. Did you do a honeymoon? There. No, mm-hmm. yeah. I. I'm too busy. I yeah. don't know. Like I work. No, I know <laughs> what you mean. I like never give myself a vacation. I don't. So. Like I. I don't even want to go on vacation right now. Like I want. I'm moving. Like that's what I'm, I've always something and a baby. to do. Yeah, that's more important. Is this kind of stuff? But yeah, yeah. people think they ate with us. Okay. <laughs> um. What? I don't. Under, I really don't get it. Like yeah. this is what I chose. You fucking morons. Yeah. So um. When it comes to your like husband, does he? How does he like react to the people like having such strong opinions about your well, entire life? Yeah, he also doesn't. He's kind of he, he calls them rats tweets. too. He's just uh, like yeah. Fuck as the you rats see his and, tweets, he, he obviously people hate on him too because yeah. he's opinionated. Um, so like, he doesn't give a shit. He just he just knows everyone's so like fucking woke and annoying. Yeah. So um oh question about marriage do you think gay people should be able to get married absolutely of okay. course I was like I wasn't sure I was like yeah, I don't I think, know where I you draw every, the line no I think everyone should be able to to do what they want to do in life just don't fucking bother me and don't fucking like you know don't try like the Dylan thing like why can't you just do that and like you know not push it so hard like just mm-hmm. go be you like there was that model that I was talking to Tyler about where um there was like this trans model she uh-huh. was like one of the first trans models. And I was watching the show with her. And she's like, no one even knew I was trans. Mm-hmm. I was just a gorgeous per- model. You know what I mean? I'm not like, I'm trans. I should be a model. Like, why? Why do you? No one cares that you're trans. Shut up. Like, you're a person. You're pretty. You're gorgeous. That's it. It's all should matter. So it seems like you, like, there's a like theme the here I don't where like you don't like people, cards. like, yeah. um, explaining or justifying themselves through their characteristics, like race or sexual cards. orientation. Like using the race card. Or using like the that. gender card. It, why? It's like, you need to be nice to me because I'm gay. Like, that type no, of stuff. No, I will not. I will never. Stuff. I will yeah. never be nice to you because of something. I'll be nice to you because I like you as an individual. Yeah. So when it comes to YouTube and your jewelry line, which one came first? The YouTube channel. Because you posted your first video July 20th, 2009. Yeah. Um, and you currently have 380,000 subscribers and mm. 50 million views on your channel. Yeah. Did you want to be a YouTuber? No, I was just bored. I had graduated, come back from China, my yeah. master's degree, and I was like bored trying to find a job. Yeah. And I just posted like a what's in my bag or something. I forget what it was. Um, just did it do well initially or did it kind of take was, time to gain? Yeah, like, oh, no, it didn't do that. Well, I just, I was shocked that 10 people watched. I was like, oh, yeah. 10 people watched. So they liked it. I mm-hmm. have like, you know, whatever. And then eventually like I was too, I didn't have any money. So I wanted to make, I wanted to 
buy jewelry, but I couldn't afford it. Yeah. So I just started making myself some pieces and people started asking about it. And that's how the jewelry line started. But the YouTube channel came first. Yeah. So, um, so you had another job at like at yeah, this yeah. point when you started just doing it. And then when did it like kind of become, uh, I guess, like a well, career it was the path? jewelry. It was, it was the jewelry it line was that came along with it. It's never been the YouTube channel. It's never yeah. been the YouTube channel. Do you think the YouTube though has allowed your jewelry to be so successful? Because it's like promotion right yeah people watch me and well originally my videos were way different than they are now it was yeah. like the typical nice youtube girl showing like my outfits or showing my um you know what i'm wearing for the day or whatever yeah. so they would do oh i love that necklace i'm gonna order that necklace yeah well um when it comes to like 2009 i can't even imagine like using a camera or like yeah. laptop like how did you do it you it just was on my macbook pro it used to oh, have like the, the recording webcam. yeah the webcam thing that's how i did it you just did it on there yeah and now there's just, like, so much competition. Now there's so many people. Like, it's impossible for someone to, like, start a YouTube channel now, I feel like. Yeah. Like, in 2009, it wasn't that crazy. Yeah, I mean, there not everyone was posting as There were a and... lot of, like, you know, girls, but not, like, now. Now it's, like, yeah, it's over. Everyone in their phone. Yeah. So, um, for the jewelry line, when did you start that? It must have been, like, 2010 then or Oh, begin, so it was, like, kind of, right like, right away, after. Maybe even 29. It was, like, 2009. It was right after. How did you come up with the name? Um... So it was like a, this bar that I used to love in, in Shanghai called The Collection. Mm. And then HRH means her or his royal highness. Oh. So that's a, the official abbreviation yeah. for any queen or king. It's HRH in front of it, uh -huh. their name. So I just love the HRH collection. Yeah, it's And cute. I still like it. I still, you know, what's funny is like I, I'm very picky and like very judgmental. Mm -hmm. And I don't regret that name. I love it. Yeah. Well, and also it's kind of become your name too. Like people yeah. like HRH. think of you as HRH I know, collection. it's funny. Which I like that name too. I think it like. Um, they don't know what it means though usually unless you're from like London, England you wouldn't know HRH your um process like from then to now has obviously changed like well maybe not that much on YouTube right you don't really edit or anything you just Nothing. like what SD Never. card in the computer and then upload literally like I, I record from my iPhone that's all I do oh yeah and then upload it through your phone yep. wow no I, no I put it on my computer oh yeah and, and then, then you do it from there yeah through do you there. airdrop it or how do you get it onto your computer um a file like, like um image transfer oh okay yeah that's I it. always have issues with that I have to like airdrop but airdrop does not work for me really it's so annoying yeah i actually record my videos on my phone too but i have it like hooked up to my computer so it, oh. like is like a webcam so then it's oh, already on my that. computer like oh. when i'm done filming but I, I go in the car and yeah yeah, you know, yeah. It's different. you're like more official with studio and stuff i don't do that yeah all that so um what is the process like for making jewelry now because um initially you did it like kind of all yourself and, and like my parent my childhood bedroom was where i started it and then what does it look like now like do you order like little like like chain like reels of chains yeah basically something. like i have chain made either some of it is specifically designed for the line some of it is just like chain that we order that we like uh -huh. and it's our started off with crystals crystals and chain or big hardware pieces and chain mm -hmm. and i do a lot of earrings which you can't see but yeah. like my line is a lot of like it's all unisex i feel like i'm very unisex i'm not like super girly or anything like that mm -hmm. so i have like a lot of chain and um, hardware pieces is what I'm usually about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you ever, um, do you have like a good like manufacturer you work with or someone I mean, you I, trust or yeah, so as far like, as like the materials? The materials, yeah. So over the course of 10, 12 years, I've, I only use specific yeah. um, suppliers. And Have you ever had bad shit come in? You're like, oh, I can't the worst. use this. That's why I'll never order from China ever, oh, really? ever directly, ever. It's the worst. So they will send you like, say you do come up with a design mm -hmm. and like, you know, like a hardware or something. Yeah. They'll send you the initial piece and you'll love it. And then the bulk that you get will be complete trash. Like mm. I will never do that again. So that was like my big, one of my biggest learning errors curves is getting away from manufacturing getting anything manufactured there yeah. have it all done here because you can talk to them directly and go in and see and they know not to fuck with you but yeah. china it's like bye they won't yeah because after that what you're blocked and they'll never answer it doesn't again. matter the money's already transferred um so let's go ahead and finish up the interview i want to ask like some advice type of questions mm -hmm. because i feel like you have strong opinions yes. and some people could really learn from like your you know bluntness and they so should a lot of my, get some balls. A lot of my friends in LA, like all of my girlfriends, just like can't like find a boyfriend. I don't know if it's like some something specific about LA. Do you think there's something about dating that's different here? Like the type of men who are here? Yeah. My first husband was like the typical LA playboy kind of like mm -hmm. who thought he was. He thought he was like Mr. Cool. Like he'll never grow up. He's like 45 now. He'll yeah. still never grow up. So it's different. Have difficult. you ever talked about why you split? Um, we just split because he's very immature and was basically it was a it was a friendship. You yeah. know, we had fun in LA together, but there was no like the sexual thing was just not Yeah, like, not intimate, just, romantic. Not intimate or, yeah. You're like so, roommates at this point. Roommates. It was totally yeah. roommates. How long were you together? 
I think in total six or seven years, including okay. marriage. So I, you know, I try, we, I kind of gave ultimatums to have kid and it just never worked. I didn't really want a kid with him. I just thought it was time. And yeah. I just, I, I, I tried to end it twice and finally I just ended it. When you, towards the end of your relationship with him, were you like on like YouTube and like social media? Yeah, and the whole like time that? I was. Yeah. The whole time I was on YouTube. Yeah, but I didn't have as many, I had a lot of, I started getting more opinionated towards the end of our relationship. So mm-hmm. he probably ha- wouldn't have known about any of like the hate. I didn't get too much hate when yeah. I was like, yeah. Well, I did get. I got or a lot of like attention and right attention like that too. exactly. So, do you think there's like something about the guys in LA where they're just like not? But the girls are stupid too. Like you yeah. know, you know, if like you need to be, you need to like get real and realize that you're not all that bitch. You did know what you I mean? see that one viral clip of like the girl on TikTok who had like the really big like lips and she was like dating in LA? Like everyone's so fake. Like oh nerve. I don't want to date a guy in Ohio, and she looks like but that. but she had like the big lips, so all yeah. the filler and everything. Yeah, exactly. Do you think that's like? not the way to go it's not the way to go like no one guy everybody doesn't like use you and abuse you if you look like that if you're a dumbass you know there's like there's 12 million girls you know you're, you're a dime a dozen you need to like have some self-respect you need to offer give something you know offer something to the table bring something yeah. to the table like men, women are like i i'm not the table or i i'm the table and the legs whatever they say yeah, yeah, like i bring stupid. everything i'm like bitch you are not you don't even you're, you're like anyone else it doesn't matter like you're not special yeah i don't know i feel like women um Women are bitches. Yeah. They really are. And I actually feel bad for some of the men, but not all of the men. But I don't know. For me, I'm really blunt. Like, I was really blunt when finding someone. I was like, this is important for me. If you are woke, yeah. like, I, when I was at a bar, mm-hmm. I'd be like, who did, if I saw some guy, we were talking, I'm like, okay, who'd you vote for? If it was the wrong answer, I'd be like, okay, nice to know you. I'd leave. Like, that is yeah. so important to me. But, like, that's it. Like, you need to get, like, the big questions out of the way. Do you want family? Do you want kids? Who'd you vote for? Those kind of things, like, are important to me. So whatever yeah. your issues are, you need to figure that out right off the bat and find someone who you would yeah. Yeah. All right, well, forty percent of the population is considered obese. I was like fat last year. Oh, really? You would you would have called me fat? Actually, fat. Yeah. I'm not fat at all. There's well, no way. I've like went through like a whole body dysmorphic. Like moving here, it's like all the West Hollywood gays. You know, they've got really? like eight packs. They're, so like, perfect, I yeah. yeah, I hired a personal trainer like six months ago. So I work out like well, every day, like super hard. Yeah. But if I'm like obese, like the you know rest of the forty percent of the uh-huh. population, what do you recommend to lose weight? Oh, they love this. I get canceled. I get shut down for this too. Um, you don't eat after eight. And for women, for girls, if you're not active, like I'm not active, I don't, I hate working out. Eat 1200 calories a day. That's it. You yeah. will be skinny. That's it. Period. People hate that so much. They're like, you should eat whatever you want. You should eat whenever you want. Okay. Fat ass. Go do that. Like, and don't work out. If you're working out, that's different. Don't yeah. take my advice. But I'm like more sedentary. I don't like physical activity. You don't like working out. I hate, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a secondary black belt, actually. Yeah. I do work, I but I don't go enough. So on the days that I do go, I'm I'm fat right now, so I have no, nothing to talk about. I, I need to lose weight. But typically, because I used to be way fatter. I used to be like 180 mm-hmm. pounds, so I lost a lot of weight. Was that like your heaviest is 180? 181, yeah, was my okay. heaviest. And p- people have seen me on YouTube when I was fat and slimmed down, so they know, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. But for me, it was 1,200 calories. And people ask like they ask my opinion or they ask what I did. I'm not telling you to do it. You come yeah. here and you ask me what I did yeah. and you get mad at me. Like yeah. get the fuck out of here. You know? I feel like a lot of people do. They like kind of to the last thing with dating. I feel like a lot of people just have expectations and or like something about this generation. They expect things, expect everything. Yeah. But oh, without having free, like, that's for sure. Without it's- working for it or like they expect having a boyfriend without like, you yeah. know, I guess like displaying what they have to offer. And right. And especially you're right. Like they're very entitled. Like, yeah. so entitled for everything. It's like they don't want to work, but they want what you have. They want a piece of what you have. Part of that's like social media, too, because people think they know, see it all so the time, easy. so they think that they can have them. it. I yeah. agree. It's kind of sad. Like, you know, you see all these people on everyone's perfect life on social media, yeah. and you think, why can I have that? Why does she have that? How is it so easy for her? Well, first of all, they don't know how the blood, sweat, and tears and how many years I've worked for this line and how yeah. I've developed it over the years. You know, they don't understand the mistakes how, and, yeah, all that. and all yeah. the money and everything like that. They don't understand. They don't know like everything. And they just think that they're entitled to it. She doesn't deserve that. Yeah. It's bad. That's how my, like my nail lady, her like son, like wants to be a YouTuber. And every time she sees me, he's like, oh. my six year old wants to be a YouTuber. And I'm like, oh, I feel so bad for this generation where all yeah. these kids now want to be Twitch streamer. What's going to happen? Have, Our houses you, are going to fall apart. There's going to be no new construction. I already There's gonna said, be like, <laughs> I said that too. I said, you know what you should be literally is like a you know contractor, a plumber. Yeah. Like that. Start a business like that. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's going to be need. popping off in the next you decade. You are going to be make a killing if you're good at what you do like with that. Yeah. Well, because everyone now wants like these cushy jobs or like yeah. these IT things out. or an influencer thing, which, you know. It's great if you can get to that point, but it's not it's like... It's like one in a million. Like, for, yeah. if it wasn't for jewelry, I told you how much I make on YouTube, nothing. I wouldn't be able to 
have a car payment, make, yeah. make a car payment. It's not YouTube for me. It's jewelry. Yeah. So it's, I'm not an influencer. Yeah, I guess I am, but I don't make any money from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some people, and some people assume that you make like, or that you probably make a ton from YouTube, but None. they really don't understand they don't. like how those things work. Yeah. So, Focus. um, let's say if someone did want to be an influencer, how do you like any recommendations for handling the rats and the hate? And like, some people always ask me like, yeah. it must be so hard to handle all the that. comments and everything. I don't care. You have right. to have thick skin. I, I was bullied in high school, and I think that people who are bullied in high school, I think it's actually, I tweeted that. It's like, it's a service. Like, I am happy that I was bullied in high school because it, it set me up for this. Nothing you could say to me would even make me flinch. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care. So I was made for this. Like, seriously, I was told. That's why I don't care, too, because, like, I don't feel like, I don't, I don't care about the backlash. That's why I say what I want, because I don't care what you have to say. Yeah. Whatever I say, you may not agree with me, but tw 20 million other people agree with what I'm having to say. I don't care if you don't agree with what I have to say. You just can't what care. What did you get bullied for, though? I was fat. For just being fat? Yeah. I mean, I guess back then it and was wore, really like. And I wore a lot right. of makeup because I was like trying to like overcompensate. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Do you feel like you kind of don't like body positivity because like you didn't get that type of grace when no, you were gross. younger? No, because gross. I don't like that. You don't look good. If you're fat and you're wearing that outfit, you yeah. don't look good. Stop. Stop telling your friend. Like, I'd be like, oh, girl, go, girl. You look good in that crop top and that mini skirt and your fucking rolls are hanging out and everything. Yeah. Just shut up. Why are you lying? That's not healthy, first of all. Okay. And it's not attractive. <laughs> this is not a clown world. Okay. Yeah. And sick of it so like lizzo you think it's like enabling I, yeah it's it's just like fine go be fat you know what i mean i don't care but don't act like it's healthy don't act like you're healthy don't act like you know it's the body positivity thing it's bullshit like yeah. it's not pretty it's not in no shape or no one thinks it's pretty okay they're yeah. lying they're fucking lying and i'm not gonna lie yeah well i think that's why a lot of people appreciate you on social media because it doesn't seem like you're lying and even if they don't fully agree with what you right. say um, it's refreshing to see someone who is like ruthlessly themselves mm -hmm. and they're jealous about, they wish they could say what they, what I'm, I get so many emails saying, I don't necessarily agree with what you're saying, mm -hmm. but I love that you say it. And I wish I could do that. Yeah. How do people get to that point? They just need to literally let go of their, like, why are you their, scared? Who cares? If, what, what are you scared about? I yeah. don't know. Just shut up. Shut up. And just fucking say what you want to say. Like, why are you so scared? You're such a little pussy ass bitch. Yeah. I, I don't know. That. That's refreshing. <laughs> yeah. You need, do you like have merch? You don't sell merch? I do. Not right now, but we're coming out with more. I do like school class uniforms oh. every oh year. Gosh. Yeah, I love how it's like class on your, yeah, when I read your comments, it, everyone's like, that. like they, I, notes from class. And yeah, like, they did that. They call it class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like class. I'm the teacher. They're uh -huh. the students and the rats are the feces and the assholes in the back of the class trying to scrape in. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, if you guys want to go and check out Alex HRH, in class attend class yeah. on her youtube channel i'll link everything below thank you so much for coming on to my uh of podcast course. and just like sharing all of your opinions there's so I much to you. unpack here and um until next time i'll see you guys in a new video soon bye guys